Hi children, exercise 3.3, problem number 1. Given a parallelogram ABCD, complete each statement along with the definition or property used. So here we have 4 problems. What we need to do is, suppose if you take the first question AD equal to dash, that means in the diagram AD is a side, you see here AD is a side, that side equal to which side? We need to write and the property used according to which property AD equal to that side, that is what we need to mention. In a parallelogram, we know that opposite sides are equal in length. So, this length AD is equal to the opposite side for AD is BC. So, AD equal to BC, that is what we can write. So, we can write for the first one, AD equal to BC, because what is the reason? Opposite sides Opposite sides are equal, equal in length. Next, second one. Angle DCB, angle DCB. Where is angle DCB? You see there in the diagram. DCB means this angle. DCB is this angle you see here in the diagram. In a parallelogram, opposite angles are equal. So, for angle C, the opposite angle is angle A. So, angle C and angle A, you see in the diagram, those two are equal. So, A means we can write that one as angle BAD or DAB also. So, this is equal to angle BAD. The reason is opposite angles are equal. Opposite angles are equal. That is the reason. Next, third one, OC equal to, where is OC? You see in the diagram, where is OC? This is OC, you see here, this is OC. So, this is some part of the diagonal, actually half of the diagonal. We know that in a parallelogram, Diagonals bisect each other. So, that means O is the midpoint of AC. You observe in the diagram, O is the midpoint of AC. So, OC is equal to OA. OC equal to OA. So, OC equal to, we can write that one as OA. Why? Because O is the midpoint. Why O is the midpoint? Diagonals bisect each other. So, diagonals bisects each other. That is the reason. Next, fourth one. Fourth one is measure of angle DAB, measure of angle DAB plus measure of angle CDA. So, now observe in the diagram, where is Angle DAB, angle DAB, this one is the angle DAB, you see here in the diagram. Then CDA, CDA, now this is. You observe in the diagram, DAB is this angle and CDA is this angle. Now, sum of those two equal to how much? Now, in this parallelogram, AB and CD are parallel. I am drawing here separately, AB and CD are Parallel and consider AD, this is AD, consider AD as a transversal, then these two are co-interior angles, these angles are co-interior angles or we can say consecutive interior angles. Sum of two consecutive interior angles equal to how much? 180 degrees. So, we can say that measure of angle DAB plus measure of angle CDA equal to how much? 180 degrees. These are in the parallelogram, these two angles are adjacent angles. These two are adjacent angles. So, adjacent angles are supplementary. Adjacent angles are supplementary in a parallelogram. Why? Because if you consider 
AB is parallel to CD and if you consider AD as a transversal, then angle A and angle D are co-interior angles or consecutive interior angles. So, sum of those two will be equal to 180 degrees. Second problem. Exercise 3.3, .3, second problem. Consider the following parallelograms. Find the values of unknowns x, y, z. Here in this one, where is x you see? Here to, to find out the values of x and y, x, y and z, we need to use the properties of the parallelogram. So, what are the properties? Here all these x, y and z are angles. So, what are the properties we have in parallelogram related to angles? 1. Opposite angles are equal. Opposite angles are equal. So, there is one. Second one. Adjacent angles are supplementary. Adjacent angles are supplementary. Now you see x and 100, these are the adjacent angles. In the diagram you see x and 100, these are the adjacent angles. So x plus 100 equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because adjacent angles so adjacent angles in parallelogram so from that we can say x equal to 180 degree minus 100 degree which is equal to 80 degree now after knowing this is equal to 80 after knowing the value of x we can easily find out y and z you see 100 and this angle y these two are equal first opposite angles are equal in a parallelogram. So, y equal to 100 degrees. Why? Because opposite opposite angles of a parallelogram, those two are equal. That is why we can say that y equal to 100. Similarly, z equal to, z equal to how much? That is equal to x actually. You see in the diagram, z equal to x. So, z equal to x. x is how much? 80 degrees. Why? The reason is same. Opposite angles. In this diagram also, we need to find out the values of x, y and z. Given that this is a parallelogram, x, y, z are some angles in this one. So, by using angle properties in parallelogram, we can find out x, y, z. First, see the relation between 50 degrees and this x. These two are adjacent angles in the parallelogram. So, the sum of those two equal to 180 degrees x plus 50 equal to 180 degree. Why? These two are adjacent angles. We can say these two are adjacent angles. Now from this we can say x equal to 180 degree minus 50 degree which is equal to 130 degrees. Now x and y these two are opposite angles you see here in the diagram x and y are opposite angles so that is why those two are equal so now y equal to that is equal to x equal to 130 degrees why the reason is opposite angles now to find out the value of z first let us take this one as a now we know that a equal to 80, 50 degrees a equal to 50 degrees. Why? Because opposite angles are equal in a parallelogram. So, A equal to how much? 50 degrees. So why? Because opposite angles. Now, you see A and Z. A and Z are linear pair. So, that is why A plus Z equal to 180 degrees. A plus Z equal to 180 degrees. Why? These two are linear pair linear pair so in a linear pair sum of two angles equal to 180 degrees now a we we found a there is 50 degrees so 50 degrees plus z equal to 180 so z equal to 180 minus 50 which is equal to 130 degrees there is a value of z so x value is 130 y value is also 130, z value is also equal to 130. Let us see 
Next problem in exercise 3.3. So x, y, z. We need to find out the values of angles x, y, z. Now you see x and this is 90 degrees here. You see in the diagram this is 90 degrees. So x and this 90 degrees are equal. Why? Because these two are said to be vertically opposite angles. So x equal to 90 degrees. Why? Because vertically opposite angles or vertical angles also you can say vertically opposite angles now you see y x and this 30 degree these are the angles in a triangle so we can say x plus y plus 30 degree this is equal to 180 degree y angles in a triangle angles in a triangle so in a triangle sum of three angles equal to 180 degrees. We use that property. So, x 90 degrees we found already plus y we don't know plus 30 degree equal to 180 degree. So, here 90 plus 30 is 120. So, 120 degrees plus y equal to 180 degree. So, from that y equal to 180 degree minus 120 degree which is equal to 60 degrees. So, y value found that one as 60 degrees. Now, to find the value of z, you consider here in the diagram, you see, let me draw two lines. This is one line and this is another line. Now, take this as a transversal. Let me draw separately. This is one line, line segment actually. This is another one. And now we have like this. Now this is angle Z and this is angle Y. Now if you observe these two lines are parallel and consider this, this line as a transversal. Then Y and Z are alternate interior angles. So we can say Z equal to Y. Why? Because those two are alternate interior angles. Y equal to how much? 60 degrees. So, Z is also equal to 60 degrees. Alternate, alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles. Exercise 3.3, next problem. Here, given diagram is a parallelogram. So, we can say you see X and 80 degrees. These two are adjacent angles. In a parallelogram, adjacent angles are supplementary. So, we can say X plus 80 degree x plus 80 degree equal to how much supplementary means 180 degrees why because adjacent angles or we can say consecutive angles also adjacent angles or we can say consecutive angles also so x equal to 180 degree minus 80 degree which is equal to 100 degrees now we know that opposite angles are equal in a parallelogram so y equal to how much the opposite angles are for y the opposite angle is 80 so y equal to 80 degree why because opposite angles to find out the value of z consider these two are parallel lines this one and this one these two are parallel lines and take this as a transversal take this as a transversal now we can say that this angle Z and this 80 degree, these two are corresponding angles. So suppose these two are two parallel lines and this is a transversal. These two angles, these two angles, we say them as corresponding angles and those two are equal. So Z equal to 80 degrees. Why? Because corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. Next problem. Here the given diagram is a parallelogram. Now angle Y and angle 120 you see these two are opposite angles. So those two are equal. Why? Because opposite angles are equal in a parallelogram. So Y equal to 112 degrees. Why? Because opposite angles. Now let us find out first angle Z. So now this 40 plus z angle this total angle and this 112 112 degree angle these two are 
adjacent angles or consecutive angles we can say so this angle first of all this angle this total angle here is z plus 40 degrees this z plus 40 degree angle this this 112 degree angle these two are supplementary angles why because those two are adjacent angles or we can say consecutive angles also so z plus 40 plus 112 degree equal to 180 degree why because adjacent angles now from this z plus 40 plus 112 is 152 equal to 180 degree so z equal to 180 minus 152 180 minus 152 which is equal to 28 degrees so z equal to how much 28 degrees now you see z and x are alternate interior angles so you see here take these two are parallel lines we know that these two are parallel lines now draw this dotted line actually so here this is angle z and this is angle x you see z and x are alternate interior angles so those two are equal so now therefore we can say x equal to that is equal to z that is equal to how much 28 degrees why because alternate interior angles alternate interior angles so x value is 28 degrees y value is 112 degrees z is equal to 28 degrees Exercise 3.3, third problem. Can a quadrilateral ABCD be a parallelogram if angle D plus angle B equal to 180? So, we have given uh, some conditions. In all the cases, we need to check whether ABCD is a parallelogram or not. First, let us draw a quadrilateral ABCD like this. And in this one, angle d plus angle b equal to 180 so so angle d plus angle b these two angles are 180 angle d plus angle b equal to 180 means the opposite angles are supplementary opposite angles are supplementary if the opposite angles are supplementary in a quadrilateral can it be a parallelogram sometimes suppose if you take a rectangle in a rectangle opposite angles are supplementary and it is a parallelogram but it is not true in all the cases. So, angle D plus angle B equal to 180 degrees means ABCD may be a parallelogram, but it need, it need not to be. That means sometimes it is a parallelogram. So, sometimes ABCD is a parallelogram. But need not to be always it is a parallelogram but need not to be need not to be always a b c d is a parallelogram now second a b equal to d c equal to 8 centimeter so here a b is 8 centimeter d c is 8 centimeter now AD, AD is 4 cm, BC, this is 4.4 cm. That means here uh, one pair of opposite sides are equal, but the other pair AD and BC, these two are not equal. So it is not a parallelogram. One pair of opposite sides are not equal. So, R not equal. So, therefore, A, B, C, D is not a, not a parallelogram. Let us go to third problem. Angle A equal to 70 and angle C equal to 65. Angle A, here you observe, angle A is 70 degrees and angle C, you see in the diagram, angle C is 65 degrees. In this diagram, 70 and 65 these two are opposite angles if it is a parallelogram then opposite angles must be equal here 70 that is angle a 65 that is angle c so opposite angles are not equal so this is not a parallelogram opposite angles are not equal 
so a b c d is not a parallelogram exercise 3.3 fourth question draw a rough figure of a quadrilateral that is not a parallelogram but has exactly two opposite angles two opposite angles of equal measure so two opposite angles are equal in measure and it should not be a parallelogram we can draw a kite for this one we can draw a kite so like this we can draw here these two are equal these two angles are equal the angles marked with red color those two are equal and these two angles the angles marked with blue blue color these two are not equal so one pair this pair of angles are equal and it is not a parallelogram exercise 3.3 fifth question the measures of two adjacent angles of a parallelogram or in the ratio 3 is to 2 find the measure of each of the angles of the parallelogram so in a parallelogram adjacent angles are supplementary we know that now here the ratio of the angles is 3 is to 2 let us write ratio of angles equal to how much 3 is to 2 now let the angles equal to let the angles equal to let the angles equal to one is 3x and the other one is 2x now given that the two angles are adjacent so for the adjacent angles sum equal to 180 degrees given that these angles are adjacent angles of a parallelogram so therefore the sum of these two must be equal to 180 degrees so therefore 3x plus 2x equal to 180 degrees so 3x plus 2x means 5x so 5x equal to 180 degrees x equal to 180 degree divided by 5 which is equal to 36 degrees if x equal to 36 degrees then 3x equal to 3 times 36 which is equal to 108 degrees whereas 2x equal to 2 times 36 degrees which is equal to 72 degrees let us draw a simple diagram of a parallelogram suppose this is 72 degrees this angle and this angle is 108 degrees now the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal so this also be equal to 72 degrees and this angle is also equal to 180 degrees so therefore the angles of the parallelogram angles of parallelogram equal to 72 degree 108 degree again 72 degree and 108 degree these are the angles of the parallelogram exercise 3.3 sixth question two adjacent angles of a parallelogram have equal measure find the measure of each of the angles of the parallelogram so in the parallelogram two adjacent angles are equal so let the two adjacent angles adjacent angles which have equal measure with equal measure equal to suppose if we take one angle as x other angle is also equal to x so why because both are equal now adjacent angles means those are supplementary angles adjacent angles are supplementary in a parallelogram adjacent angles are supplementary in a parallelogram so 
So we can say that x plus x equal to 180 degree. x plus x means 2x. So 2x equal to 180 degree. So x equal to 180 degree by 2 which is equal to 90 degree. So therefore if x equal to 90 other angle adjacent angle also equal to 90 degrees. That means the remaining two angles also equal to 90 degrees. So each angle of the parallelogram will be 90 degrees. So therefore each angle of the parallelogram equal to 90 degrees. Be sure if all the angles are equal to 90 degrees that means that parallelogram may be a rectangle or may be a square.